What's up everybody? We're doing a walk today in Lexington, Kentucky. Hope you enjoy this. You're going to see some familiar spots for those of you who follow the channel regularly. Um, hope you'll enjoy it. Um, probably going to be a little bit of light narration today. We'll see what kind of uh, stuff we get into. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy the walk. It's uh, winter, but it's 60 degrees today, so unseasonably warm. Uh, let's go for a nice walk. All right, we're starting out on uh, Short Street. There's the truck. Hello, truck. And we're going to walk down Short Street for a little bit, then we're going to cross over to Main Street. You can see it's a really nice day. And we'll see what, what we can find. I took the day off work today. So we're going to enjoy the beautiful weather and spend a little time walking together in downtown Lexington, Kentucky. We've done uh, walks in this area before and my target is to, I don't know, walk about, about an hour. You can see it's uh, about 12.30, 62 degrees outside. And it is uh, December 15th, so definitely unseasonably warm and I'm wearing shorts today. Oh, that's new. Look at that. Get some gelato on the corner of Jefferson and Short Street in Lexington. It looks like they're fixing up this historic home. Hello. So, Short Street, oh, look at this cute old house. I think these are called cannonball houses because of how long they are and straight. Um, Short Street is one of the more historic streets in downtown Lexington, and it runs parallel to Main Street, the whole length of downtown. And we're about two blocks from the corner of Broadway in Maine, which is where Rupp Arena is and Triangle Park and some of the places you've seen before on my channel. And if you haven't seen those places, I mean, you'll see them today, but also go back and check out some of the previous walks too in Lexington. We've got some cool night walks, um, some festivals, all kinds of cool stuff. So just look, search for a bit of a wander, Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, let's take a peek over here. So this is the, the convention center, now called the Central Bank Center. And it's getting a total rebuild right now. So completely new facade and there's gonna be uh, shops, all kinds of stuff going on. And it's part of a pretty massive project that's going on in Lexington, which is pretty cool. Um, so uh, down that way, there is a big parking lot uh, just past the Main Street Baptist Church on the other side, there's a big parking lot. And what's gonna happen, well, if it all happens, is they're going to uh, take a, a creek that runs underneath the ground all throughout downtown Lexington, and they're gonna uh, daylight that creek. It's called the Town Branch, Town Branch of the Elkhorn Creek, um, but it's Town Branch. They're going to daylight that, which means rip away all the you know, asphalt and brick and everything that's covering the creek, bring it to the surface, and run it a big park down there and 
down past Rupp Arena, and then it's going to reemerge over here um, in Triangle Park. And then there's going to be four, I think, main sections. Uh, I'll put a link to the project, but it's really cool. Um, and if it all happens, and I think it will, then downtown Lexington is going to have a huge walkable section with uh, a creek and parks and all kinds of cool stuff the best place in the country to live keeps getting better and I'm biased because this is my hometown beautiful old church this is uh, First Baptist I always thought this was a pretty one so we'll try and find a little bit more maybe some signs or something about the town branch commons project but I'll definitely put a link so you guys can check it out huge massive project and there's the big blue building over there so that is the fifth third bank building and it's the tallest building in Lexington all right we can stay on short street here or we can duck down to main street and check out the the project. I think we'll do that on the world's tiniest sidewalk here. I'll walk on the world's tiniest sidewalk. It's pretty, isn't it? We've got some uh, condos and old homes back through here. And there's a little uh, mini market down here on the corner. I guess what would be called a bodega in another city. But here it's just a, a gas station with no pumps. <laughs> the main street market. Yeah, you can see. Got to readjust the gimbal really quick. There we go. All right. So there's the convention center and the big white rectangle behind the glass. That's where uh, Rupp Arena is. All right. So we're going to walk down here past Triangle Park. It is a little windy today. It's just a couple of days removed from uh, those really bad tornadoes that blew through Kentucky. You probably saw them on the news if you live in the United States. Um, thanks to those of you who sent me notes. I'm fine. My family and friends are fine. The people I work with are fine. Um, but thanks for the concern. pretty all right we got a whole bunch of restaurants down here there's a steakhouse Tony's You get a really good look at the new facade of the convention center. And a bunch of hotels down here as well. All right. We've got pies and pints. This is a pizza and beer place. 
it's actually really good. You can see they've got uh, the ice skating rink out in the park and the Christmas tree all set up. And we're down again by Triangle Park on the corner of Main and Broadway. Uh, we could go check out Triangle Park, but it looks like there's not a ton going on. It looks like the, the fountains are turned off and nobody is ice skating right now. So I don't think that would be terribly interesting. So let's head back up here to Short Street. Hello, Turkey. Walking past the uh, Urban Outfitters, down past a few more restaurants. This is a great salad restaurant. We have a uh, taco and bourbon restaurant with a black sheep. And another Mexican restaurant that just went in with new murals too. So let's go check that out. Almost got hit by a car just now. Alright, so we've got Mama Tequila. Let me check out. Quite a bit going on downtown today. A lot of traffic, not a ton of foot traffic though. These are definitely cool. There's the opera house. Zoom in, show that. And they've added some plants to the parking garage. All right, let's walk down Short Street for a little ways. Downtown Lexington is always a great walk. It's a pretty day for sure. Postmaster's Pub. This has been like four restaurants over the years. I haven't been to it since they changed it this time. There's a cool mural over here that I saw for the first time on my last walk downtown. Tough to see right now. Let's check out what we got at the Postmaster's Pub. Pretzels and mustard. Nashville hot cheese, deviled eggs, 
charcuterie boards, idiot burgers. Huh, so this used to be called the Village Idiot, so I guess they kept some of the menu. A KFC sandwich, fish tacos. Okay. Cool gastro pub menu. There's a great old pizza place down here called Goodfellas that I really love. Kind of New York style slices. But I think I'm going to eat when I get home today. All right, this is where the farmer's market is on Saturday. In the horse and jockey pub. We got Nate's Coffee, good local coffee shop. I'm gonna duck in here and get a cup of coffee really quick. All right, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my coffee. Cheers, everyone. We'll pause and I'll be right back. All right, now we're rolling. Got my shot of coffee, a cortado. And a Stroop waffle, which is perfect, dipped into a cappuccino or, or a cortado or latte. All right, we're on Courthouse Square. It's the old courthouse. What do you think, walk around it? See the whole square? Let's do it. Yeah, on Saturdays, this whole pavilion is filled with a farmer's market. And on Thursdays, <clears throat> during the summer and spring and early fall, there's Thursday Night Live, which is live music and a big party and a lot of vendors. It's really cool. Right now, not a lot going on. And this is the patio for Zim's, which is a kind of a local cafe. And then I think upstairs there's an event space that you can rent. Let's just come down here and get a good shot of the courthouse. <clears throat> a huge thank you to those of you who are joining me for the premiere and stream for the live chat love walking with you very much enjoy 
the premiere night of these videos. That's the 21C Hotel, kind of a museum and hotel. And we're gonna go all the way around the courthouse and back to Short Street. Ooh, a little bit of a wind tunnel here. A clock shop and a magic store. Interesting. I wonder how many uh, lock picking sets he's sold. Oh, that's a new mural right there. Love that. How cool is that? And here's another one right up here that I really enjoy. Looks like uh, Corto Lima is not open today. It's a Mexican restaurant right there. And I love these uh, Lexington Pride crosswalks. Pretty neat. Wow, really windy. Sorry about the, the wind noise. I still don't have any kind of uh, mic situation. I'm just working with the camera's existing mics, so sorry about the wind noise. It's an Irish pub. It's a lovely day for a Guinness. That's the new courthouse over there. And the public library. I don't know why 
there's a camel here. North zero milestone. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look that up. Why is there a statue of a camel in downtown Lexington? It's a cool local Greek restaurant right there. This is the public library. They've got a huge pendulum in there that's kind of neat. Um, but I don't think I can film in there. Well, at least I haven't asked. Hmm. Another historical marker of Lewis and Clark. It's starting to become a regular occurrence on this channel. We've got the Downtown Arts Center, there's a theater there, and a museum. And then down here a little bit further we have the Kentucky Theater. And man, sorry about the wind. Goodness. Uh, so now we've got wind and we've got some construction noise coming up here. So we might try and cross the street up here to get away from the noise. Oh, heck. We'll just go for it. Sorry about the noise. Please turn your volume down for a second. Hopefully the worst of that is over. And this is the old Kentucky Theater. Which I believe is on a hiatus right now. Love these mask posters. Very funny, very funny. All right, we're on my normal path when I walk downtown Lexington, which is to walk the full length of Main Street from Triangle Park down to Thoroughbred Park and back. So that's what we're doing today. It's my favorite walk in Lexington. And once we begin live streaming, it's one that you guys can get pretty used to. And looks like a new food truck over here.
It's an architecture firm. See, they've got some models going on in there too. It's neat. Big fire truck. All right, and this is the other end of downtown Lexington. If you keep going straight, down Main Street here, it turns into uh, Richmond Road, which takes you all the way out to Richmond, Kentucky. And I think instead of walking down to Thoroughbred Park today, we're going to turn up this way and go to the University. Let's go walk through a little bit of the University of Kentucky, which I have done at night before on one of the videos on the channel but never during the day and i think classes are out right now so it should be we should have the whole place to ourselves really let's go check it out <laughs> We're at uh, 7,300 steps today, and I think I started this walk around 3,500 steps, so we're about 4,000 steps in. Definitely gonna get over 10,000 today. If you head down that way, you get to Woodland Park, which is where we shot the art festival video this past uh, late summer. It's a really fun video. The street we're on right now is named Rose Street. We're gonna cross High Street and then head down to the Avenue of Champions, or Euclid, which runs down past the University of Kentucky Student Center. And the old uh, Memorial Coliseum, where the basketball team used to play. And certainly, some sports still do play. And a long time ago, I went to the University of Kentucky. So every time I walk through, it's a little nostalgic for me. It, my first real job was at the University of Kentucky. And I lived there for four years while I got my degree before I got married. A lot of birds.
probably a lot of home repair going to be going on by landlords while students are on break. When I was in school, I lived in a old house like that one and I paid 135 US dollars a month for one bedroom and I shared a kitchen and I shared a bathroom with like 10 other people. It was definitely not a great situation, but it got me through college. A lot of great memories for sure. But all of this is student housing. It's all subdivided into a bunch of rooms and apartments. Because we are literally right on the edge of campus right here. And some of this is in really great shape and some of it's not. Which I think is the case around most major universities. The house that I used to live in is about 10 minutes walk straight ahead on the other side of uh, campus next to the hospital and I'd show it to you but it no longer exists it's been knocked down to make way for a hospital expansion so can't go back and show you that one and here's Maxwell Street and that's kind of the border where the university begins. This is all student housing that's privately held and then everything beyond Maxwell Street that way is publicly owned land by the state and uh, part of the property of the University of Kentucky. And there's about, there's two hospitals up here. We've got Good Samaritan down the street, down Maxwell that way, and the University of Kentucky Hospital is up the street that way. I think I'll stay zoomed in for a minute instead of on wide angle. Get you a little bit of a better view. don't know what that building is. I think it's classrooms. It wasn't there when I was in school. Or at least it was something else, I should say. It's been co-opted by the university. And then we have this Memorial Coliseum through the gap there. And a whole bunch of dorms over that way. And I believe this is all classrooms and auditoriums as well in this building. And that's all housing on that side. Down here in a little bit, you'll get to see uh, Wildcat Lodge, which is where the University of Kentucky basketball team lives, right next to Memorial Coliseum where they practice. They are, uh, 
held in very high regard. And I'm a big University of Kentucky fan, yeah. And most people who live around here are. But we love basketball in this neck of the woods. All right, there it is right here. Very unassuming from the outside, very fancy on the inside. That little building right there is Wildcat Lodge. And that's where the basketball team lives. And then to the right of it, that's Memorial. They just walk right across the parking lot to their practice gym. Up here, if we turn left, the street is called Euclid, and it heads down into some neighborhoods. And if we turn right, it's called Avenue of Champions, and that's the way we're gonna go. Right in front of Memorial Coliseum, and down in front of the Student Center, and then we'll walk back down into downtown. A Little bit of a longer walk than I thought today, but the weather's so good. How could we not? Wow, now we're really walking down memory lane. Definitely remember that place from when I was in school. And then next to it used to be, right here, a CD store. And then this used to be a coffee shop called Coffee Island. So I guess it's still tropical, but not Coffee Island anymore. And then Burger Fi, I want to say that spot used to be a Thai restaurant. Sorry about the wind again, it really just picked up. I'll look into a microphone. Yeah, there used to be a downstairs to this spot right here. And it was a Thai place for sure. And that is the UK Art Museum and also the Performing Arts Center, the Singletary Center seen many performances there. Pretty good programming year-round. The entire community is invited to. It's a pro tip for you. If you live anywhere near a college, you can likely see not only uh, opera and symphonies and shows, but they probably have a movie theater too that is either free or dirt cheap for you to see first-run movies. That, and the movie in the student center up here, the theater, allows you to come in as a member of the community and see shows for free. And that is very loud, so I'm sorry. I'll shut up for a second as we pass Memorial Coliseum. That couldn't possibly be any louder. All right. So main campus is down that way. And we've got the Whitehall classroom building. It's where I went to most of my classes as an undergraduate. And that's the Patterson office tower. And this is the student center. And this building's pretty new, about three years old. Yeah, about three years old. Because the previous student center was where I worked when I had a job on campus. 
and that was uh, my first job in the coffee industry. And I've stuck with the coffee industry ever since. It's like we've got a bit of a traffic jam going on here. Not sure why. Oh, I see a delivery robot up here. That's pretty neat. I'll show you guys if it doesn't cross the street ahead of us. That's all dorms and restaurants and coffee shops. Yeah, up here, right on the corner, this little six-wheeled robot is a delivery robot and you can place food and drink and bookstore orders from anywhere on campus and this little robot will deliver it to you and obey traffic laws and <laughs> not run into people it's pretty amazing technology we live in the future all right it's about to have the light Not sure why it's not going. Who knows? It's missing the light. All right, so here we are at the student center. And I don't know if I'm allowed to film inside the building, so I won't. But we will check it out out here. It's really an attractive building. And again, all that is all dorms. And this is the student center with the Starbucks and the bookstore, meeting space, student services. The cafeteria in there. And that's a gymnasium, like a workout spot for the students. And in the first floor of all these dorms, there's a whole bunch of restaurants and shops. And this is, again, we're just skirting the northern edge of campus here. It really, so campus goes to the south about eight blocks and then southwest even further than that. If you pull up University of Kentucky campus, you'll see how massive it is. And I want to say there's like 50,000 students. I'll look that up. <laughs> I'll look that up and I'll correct myself. And that includes people who live on campus and people who take school um, on the internet as well. And people who don't live here. So the total, the total number of students. And what is University of Kentucky known for? Um, well, besides basketball. There's a, an incredible agriculture school. Law school is good. Business school is good. Um, there's a, a lot of great. My degree. Glad you asked. <laughs> My degree was in English. So studying literature, reading a lot, thinking a lot. Um, my main interest. So I studied literature and philosophy bit of a creative spirit and my main interest was comparative literature and folklore from around the world clubhouse oh that used to be a pizza restaurant 
called Pazos. I'm not sure if I've said this before on this channel, but right there, I used to go every day after work, sit on that patio right there with my friends and have beer and pizza and just have the best time. Very formative time. Talk about work, talk about school, talk about all kinds of things. That was our spot. And it was a great pizza place with the best beer list in town and terrible, terrible service. Like famously bad, terrible service. But we definitely were there every single Wednesday because Wednesday was pint night. And on pint night, you got pint glasses of the special beer whenever you ordered a pint. And you'd get to keep the glasses. Take those home with you. Some students, it looks like, stuck around. I don't think you have to go home. I don't think the dorms are completely closed. Some students stuck around. All right, and this is all kind of bars and restaurants that all serve the university community. And Good Samaritan Hospital is right over here behind that parking garage. Let's go this way. Wow. So that was an institution. That one was called the Two Keys Tavern. And it's gone. Wow. That's been around for, I want to say, like 30 or 40 years. Finally out of business. It wasn't great, <laughs> so not everything that is an institution is great, I guess. But it was definitely a fixture. This is a new kind of city format target for essentials for the students. Yeah, definitely buy a college. Crock pots, toasters, blenders, coffee pots. <laughs> Dorm life. Apartment life. There's a pizza place, another pizza place right here. There's actually a couple of good pizza places right around here. Ooh, scooter. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. It's kind of a nice model. I'll pass. Pass today. We'll keep walking. This mellow mushroom. And we'll walk up this kind of nice residential street. Back towards downtown. Oh, and we are almost at 10,000 steps on the old Fitbit. So that's good. Very creative. And believe it or not, here is another cool pizza place over here on the right, like a long term. There's a Mexican place, Cinco de Mayo, and then Joe Bologna's. Joe Bologna's. Cool pizza place. And the cigar company here is now subdivided into some really sweet lofts. Some of the nicest in town, I think. And the oldest bicycle shop in town, Pedal Power. I just turned on my backup battery on the gimbal. So we should have another hour if we needed it, but I don't think we're gonna walk another hour, maybe another 20 minutes.
and we've just left the part of town that is student housing and these are all kind of privately held either homes or law offices so these are going to be in much better shape all historic properties for sure This little red wood one is amazing. Look, that's got to be... I'm surprised there's not a historical marker explaining what that home was. Once upon a time. It's a pretty one. It's blue. Yeah, really nice. 1814. That one's got a marker on it. It was built in 1814. Oh, sorry, man. That one there looks like it's seen better days, but it's such a gorgeous property. I hope somebody takes care of it. All right, this one's getting redone, which is cool. And if we keep going this way, we'll go back to the old, the old courthouse where we had coffee. So we'll hang a left up here and walk down High Street. So we don't double back on ourselves. Keep seeing new stuff. Ten thousand steps. Achievement unlocked. Always a good feeling. Heading back into downtown, downtown proper. The post office. Hold on one second. I'll see if I can look it up. I don't know off the top of my head. Two ten High Street. So we're on High Street. So let's see here. It looks like it's that way. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Looks like it's about four blocks. Yep. Nice church here. Very historic property and school and some more construction going on Nineteen oh seven. 